and, and we are in the final stretch ahead of this holiday season. And you may be looking at your bank account if you're like me, concerned about how much money you spent or are getting ready to spend. So this break may be the perfect time to start planning out your financial goals for the new year. Jesse Braden, the owner of J Braden Financial Group, joins us live now and he's got some of those tips and ideas. Jesse, good morning. How are you? I'm very good. Yourself, Christina? I'm great. And I know, like I said, these budget times, it's time to start looking and seeing where you can cut back ahead of the new year and maybe get out some of that debt or do some financial planning for retirement even. Absolutely. What we what I want to do is I want to let everyone know, and I'm sure we're all aware of this, that the new year is just nine days away. We're going to ring it in and I want it to ring in a new financially secure you. And here's what I mean. This year, I want you to pay yourself first. So I want you to take 10% of your paycheck the moment that it hits your bank before anything else. Do it automatically. This could go towards your retirement fund, maybe college fund, an emergency fund, or better yet, towards high interest rate credit cards. But I want you to do it the day that it hits your account. So it's not sitting in your working account so you could splurge it away in a few coffees or extra eating out. Christina, let's make 2022 the year we pay ourselves first. That's definitely something that I've never heard of before, but it definitely makes a lot of sense. And so also, you know, you can make a financial plan and as you get ready to go through with it, it can be a little bit difficult to stay on track. So how often should you be reviewing your plan and your track to make sure it aligns with those goals that you have? Having a savings plan by paying yourself first is a lot like having a map to your financial freedom. But it's a map is kind of worthless if we're not checking it regularly against a compass. So doing quarterly reviews every three months, that's like checking your financial map against a compass. So what I want you to do is every three months, review your goals, see if you're meeting them, make any necessary adjustments. And Christina, don't forget to congratulate yourself if you are meeting your goals, because these days we all need a pat on the back. Of course, I mean, it is such a difficult thing and time that we're going through in general. And so for those people who also just want to think about, of course, you always plan for the best, but you always have to prepare for the worst. So those people who need to sort of get their finances in order in case something does go wrong, do you have any tips about what they need to do? Well, setting up an estate plan is a critical part of protecting your assets and your loved ones. So many people for an estate plan, just putting together a simple will, power of attorney or a medical directive, that's probably all that there is necessary. Some people may benefit from setting up a trust. So before the ball drops on 2022, next year, I want people to take this year and find a trusted legal professional to help them establish that type of peace of mind with an estate plan. That definitely makes a lot of sense, Jesse. Thank you so much for all of your help and your tips. And of course, if you would like to learn more or finance tips or work with Jesse and his team, just head over to his website. That's going to be jbradenfinancial.com.